nation of Israel is the most high. The reason why it was brought over here to serve slavery against our will, coming over here in cargo slave ships, is because of the most high. This had nothing to do with the so-called white man. Go ahead. Numbers 23 and 23. Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob. Neither is there any divination against Israel. According to this time, it shall be said of Jacob and of Israel, what hath the Most High wrought? Behold, the people shall rise up as a great lion, and lift up himself as a young lion. He shall not lie down until he eat of the prey and drink the blood of the slain. The blood of the slain is talking about who? It's talking about Esau. Uh, can we go to the Apocrypha, I believe it's uh, Baruch 4, Go ahead. She said the blood of the slain. Ezekiel 25 and 12. Thus saith the Lord power, because that Edom have dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and have greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. Therefore, thus saith the Lord power, I will also stretch out mine hand upon Edom and will cut off man and beast. There goes Edom again. Edom, Edom constantly coming up, man. So we know it ain't talking about a, a, a small band of uh, Arabs with a red henner in their beard up in some damn mountains somewhere in Afghanistan. It's talking about a whole nation of people. Go ahead. I will also stretch out mine hand upon Edom and will cut off man and beast from it. And I will make it desolate from Teman, and day of the dawn shall fall by the edge of the sword. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. And they shall do in Edom according to mine anger and according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord Power. That's right. This white man, you, you Edomite, you're going to know, you're going to know the vengeance of the most high, the Lord's power. Go ahead, on. Chapter 4, verse 21. Be of good cheer, O my children. Cry unto the Lord, and he shall deliver you from the power and death. And that's the problem with Jake. Jake want to be a damn Muslim. He wants to re-elect Barack Obama. He wants to be a child, of the, a citizen of the damn universe. He wants to be a seven-day Adventist, a Jehovah Witness, a Roman Catholic, a Baptist, a Methodist. A daggone atheist because they grew up with a bunch of stupid white kids. Go ahead. It says, cry unto Yahweh, and he shall deliver you from the power and hand of and the world. And it said, cry unto Yahweh. So, Nate, you come up in this too. Yeah. Because you set up to teach this word the right way. You ain't teaching this word the right way. Go ahead. And he shall deliver you from the power and hand of the enemies. For my hope is in the everlasting that he will save you. And joy is come unto me from the Holy One because of the mercy which shall soon come unto you from the everlasting, our Savior. For I sent you out with mourning and weeping, but the Most High will give you to me again with joy and gladness forever. Yeah, that's the kingdom of heaven. We're going to come back in joy, gladness forever. Go ahead. Like as now the neighbors of Zion have seen your captivity, so shall they see shortly your salvation from our power. Right, the neighbors, what is, what is one of the neighbors of Zion? Esau, yes, Edom, the Moabites, the, Moabites and the, the Edomites. Well, Esau saw, saw your captivity when the Babylonians came up in there. Yep. And they were the ones that went, oh, there goes one of the Israelites over there, get them. There goes another one over there. Well, let me stab one up for you. Go ahead. Which shall come upon you with great glory and brightness of the everlasting. My children, suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from the Most High. For thine enemy hath persecuted thee, but shortly thou shalt see his destruction and shalt tread upon his neck. And we're going to tread upon his neck. Go ahead. My delicate ones have gone rough ways and were taken away as a flock part of the enemies. Be of good comfort, O my children, and cry unto the Most High. For you shall be remembered of him that brought these things upon you. For as it was your mind to go astray from the Most High, so be it returned, seek him.
him ten times more. So you got when you come back, when you wake up to the fact that you're Israel, you're supposed to be hot about this thing. You're supposed to be on fire about this thing. You're supposed to be diligent about this thing. Go ahead. For he that brought these th these plagues upon you shall bring you everlasting joy again with your salvation. Take a good heart, O Jerusalem. For he that gave thee that oh, sorry. Take a good heart, O Jerusalem. For he that gave thee that name will comfort thee. Mil right, not not this uh, black hobbit up there in Harlem calling himself uh, Tazadakia. He, he ain't comforting. He ain't comforting no goddamn body but his damn self and his flunkies. Read that again. Take good. Take a good heart, O Jerusalem. For that. He, that for he that gave thee that name will comfort thee. He that gave thee that name will comfort comfort thee. Go ahead. Miserable are they that afflicted thee, and rejoice at thy these, fall. These crackers, when they brought you over here in slavery, when they made you, uh, made your children alligator bait, when they brought you over here in cargo slave ships, this is Emmett Till, and they beat this man, they beat this young boy so bad, he's not even recognizable. You gonna pay for all this, you fucking crackers. You devil, you, you gonna pay for this, man. And how you gonna pay? By slavery. You're gonna be shackled up and you go into slavery. I'm talking about you white men and you white women. Go ahead. And rejoice at thy fall. Miserable are the cities which thy children serve. Miserable is she that received thy sons. For as she rejoiced at thy ruin. Yeah, you should have never took the sons of the nation of Israel. Because now you gotta pay the bill. And it's gonna be a hard bill to a hard pill to swallow. That bill is gonna be a hard pill to swallow. And you're gonna pay. Here you eat mice walking up and down. First of all, you don't even know that you're eating mice. You're clueless about what the hell is getting ready to happen. Go ahead. Uh, Zechariah 2 and 8. Uh, for thus saith the Lord of hosts. Okay, well, that's it, brother. That's it. Let's let it go until it just shuts off, all right? Uh, Zechariah 2 and 8. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, after the glory have he sent me unto the nations which spoiled you. For he that toucheth you toucheth the apple of his eye. Uh, expound on Right. Zechariah 2 and 8 says, For thus saith the Lord of hosts, after the glory have he sent me unto the nations that spoiled you. This is directed to these people right here, the Israelites, us. The nations that spoiled us is the so-called white man, beginning with him, who is the nation of Edom. Then you have the Chinese, you have the Japanese. They spoiled us because they had us all in slavery. All right, the last nation to have us in slavery was the so-called white man, the Edomites. All right, so it says, uh, after the nations, after the glory, have he sent me unto the nations which spoiled you. And he, and he that toucheth you, toucheth the apple of his eye. So this is how the Most High feels about Israel. We're the apple of his eye. All right, what, what, what's going on down there? I'm gonna read the sign, that's all. Well, do you uh, disagree with what you are reading there? Disagree? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do, you, do you disagree with what you read? Oh, this is working. This is working. Oh, okay. Well, that's the future. The so-called white man. Okay, it's working. That's his future. See, God said this. All right. Uh, give me a revelation. Okay, so wait. Just what? In what verse in the Bible does it discriminate well, we, we, between white and black? Well, we're gonna there's read many it. verses. Well, there's yeah, many well, verses. But there's just, many, just give there's me many one. verses. So we're gonna give you one. First of all, one. I'm, I'm just gonna give you. You won't give me all your bullshit. Just give me one. It ain't no bullshit. It ain't no bullshit. If it's bullshit, then you wait. He's gonna give it to you. If it's bullshit, be quiet so you can hear it, man. Revelation 13. I'm gonna film you too, motherfucker. Revelation 13:9 and 10. Revelation. Hey man, you know what? Put, hey man, put this, put this, put this, put this side over. Back up, from the God. Get out of here, man. Get out of here. Yeah, which condemns so-called white man. Which condemns so-called.